Hello, everybody. What is going on? This is Paul Richards from PTZ Optics, and I'm really excited today because I watched a live stream from vMix, uh, the live streaming broadcast company, uh, their January live stream. And what we found out was is that they've already integrated the new tech NDI into uh, their beta of the vMix 17, which is scheduled for release at NAB this year. So really exciting. Um, you know, I know that they're also going to be building in camera control for our PTZ Optics camera line. And all of this is happening to be announced at NAB. But if you're like me, you know, you want to get your, you want to wrap your head around this technology. What is the new tech NDI and how is this going to affect my business as a broadcaster live streaming company or as an end user wondering how can I use this wonderful new technology everyone's talking about. I don't want to wait till NAB to figure all this stuff out. I want to be prepared ahead of time. So if you're like me, stay tuned for this video. We're going to go over how this new tech NDI affects every major market, market vertical and uh, we're going to do that right now. So stay tuned. Okay, so here I am in our virtual set. This is our uh, PTZ Optics live streaming uh, virtual set that we have here. And behind me, I have our new tech NDI playbook that we built specifically for vMix users. Now, if you're a new tech guy and you only like to sell TriCasters and you're not even wanting to look at vMix, don't worry. We also have a, a TriCaster only version of this playbook. But if you're like me and you're a big vMix fan, um, you're going to be really interested to see what the heck this new product uh, is going to is going to offer us. So um, let's get started, and let me see if I can just okay make this a little ah maybe make it a little bigger. I wanted to show that beta market predictions part at the top there. This is beta. So what that means is is that. Everything we're speculating on is beta. It's all going to be released and announced at NAB 2016. So, you know, uh, so, some people have said, hey, you know, this, this technology is not ready yet. Um, I understand that. But we're going to go ahead and make our predictions of how this is going to affect um, the market in general because it's going to be a game changer. Okay? Not kidding here. Uh, we've got a webinar uh, February 19th. Uh, if you want to ask questions about anything that you're going to hear in this video here where we're going to go over all the different verticals, please attend. All you have to do is uh, click the link below to sign up. You can ask questions, join live. The way this playbook is set up uh, is that we actually spent a lot of time thinking about this, you know, because it's really a little difficult to get your mind around this amazing new technology. So we've got a quick introduction, then we go over all the major verticals that are using live streaming today. So professional broadcast, uh, education, house of worship. Uh, sales and marketing, you know, i.e., you know, corporations and enterprises. Then we've got this new YouTube live streaming market. All of you uh, YouTube creators out there, uh, you know, that are that are out there, the YouTube stars, you know, you can actually take advantage of this technology quite affordably as well. Uh, quickly take a look at NAB, which is really, you know, the Plymouth Rock, if you will, of where everything's going to be announced. It's the soapbox where all the companies are going to get up and start talking about how they've integrated with this technology. Obviously, PTZ Optics, you know, we're, we're here right now. We're saying, look, um, you know, actually, I'll go into that right right now. So in quick introduction, the new tech NDI is an open source IP control software for sending and receiving ultra low latency, high definition video and audio over a local network for live broadcasts. Uh, Andrew Cross, uh, you know, the PhD uh, new tech president and CTO uh, has decided to take this technology and make it open source. So that means vMix could literally take the technology and build it right into their product. Uh, obviously, Martin Sinclair uh, you know, did a lot of work to do that, and they showed it to us in their latest live stream, which I highly recommend checking out. That is a uh, their January fun time show. Uh, you'll see all this live, and I have a little video. You probably saw it playing behind me. Um, it's going to show that to you really quickly. I just got a little clip out of it if you don't have time to watch that whole video. Um, but 
PTZ Optics, we do have plans to integrate the uh, new tech NDI in the future, but we have no set release date. Uh, for us, it's going to require a chipset change, uh, an upgrade that we're working on. Uh, we've got a couple other things down the pipeline that, that we're announcing. We're definitely going to be supporting 1080p60. We're definitely going to be uh, supporting multiple languages on our on-screen display menu. Uh, we're definitely going to be supporting um, longer RTSP stream uh, URLs, which will allow us to do YouTube live streaming. So we've got a lot of stuff. I've got a long laundry list of things we're going to be releasing at NAB, but the new tech NDI is not one of them. So that's why we put this whole thing together, because we can't be left behind uh, with this new tech NDI storming the industry. It's really going to change the world here in this industry in particular. So we're going to partner with new tech and with vMix for uh, how this, this uh, technology is going to change the integration. So really quickly, I've actually got a video that shows this as well. So let's just, I'm going to really quickly just, let me just overlay it. Um, so what this, what you're seeing here is in the vMix, um, in the actual application there, when you add an input, there's going to be uh, the NDI there is going to be an option. And any NDI discoverable device on your network is going to pop up here. So if you've got two vMix systems running on the same network, you can now share um, all of those inputs with uh, another vMix system. So now you can do have co the two or three operators. Um, in a second here, I believe, uh, Martin Sinclair, the CEO of vMix, is going to show uh, what happens. You can actually right-click um, a NDI uh, input there and actually do live switching to save space as well, which I thought was really cool. So um, that's what it looks like. So here's your selectable NDI inputs. Here are the, um, the sources there that we have. And then finally, there's a new, little new thing that they added, which is this custom title uh, menu category, which I thought was really cool. Um, you know, again, this is all available. You can download this. So let's take a look at the first um, situation here. So let's say you're a professional broadcast company. You already have a new tech TriCaster. Maybe you've got two HD SDI cameras connected to it, and it's connected to your network. And that's how you do your live streaming, for example. Well, now, you, with the new tech NDI in place, you could buy a $60 license of vMix 17 and connect, let's say, two USB PTZ optics cameras and now share those resources between both systems. So um, you can actually take those vMix uh, connected laptop and, and uh, connected USB cameras and access them with almost zero latency over the network through the NDI um, integration. So, so just try to wrap your head around that. We've, we've actually done a lot of, um, a lot of stuff here to, to demonstrate it for each industry. So that's the broadcast scenario, just one broadcast scenario. Imagine, you know, you've got 10 of these, you know, 10 laptops out in the field or 20 broadcast studios, and you want them all to connect to the network. That's also possible. Uh, we're talking about maybe having a gigabit network and, you know, getting into some networking stuff that's a little bit more advanced. So potentially, um, you know, you can do all of this stuff, but obviously, you know, you want to be a little bit IT friendly, a little bit network savvy. Here's an example in an educational use case. So in this case, let's say you've got a vMix Go as your main broadcast studio that you do, let's say, your school announcements for, for example, or maybe you live stream sports with it and then you take it back to the studio and you live stream school announcements. Well, now what you can do is you can take, a, again, a $60 uh, version of vMix 17 and put it on the laptops in, let's say, three different classrooms. Um, and then now you could bring those classroom video and audio feeds through the network directly to your main broadcast studio. So now, I mean, one of the things I really thought about when I was looking at this is like, okay, now uh, classroom A, classroom B, classroom C independently can have live streams for distance learning. So they could maybe set up their own YouTube live accounts or Blackboard or Moodle or Kaltura, whatever you're using, and allow those teachers to have the tools to live stream and record professional looking, um, you know, videos of their classrooms for, for, for on-demand learning. But then, now with the NDI, they can also be incorporated into the main school announcement. Um, so this is another um, you know, example of the technology. 
in the house of worship space, uh, now you can easily have multiple operators. So let's say you've got vMix Go here, and they showed this in the January um, fun, fun time show edition of vMix, where uh, multiple vMix applications can actually control, um, you know, the let's say the main broadcast studio has one or two different operators that may or may not even need cameras connected. So let's say you've got a second uh, license of vMix over here, and it's just for an operator. Or, you know, let's say the cabling for HDSDI is, is hard to get all the way to a certain area, but you do have network already run there through your network switch. You can just p plug and play like a USB camera to a laptop, and then over the network have almost basically zero latency to your main broadcast studio. Um, so that's another way to use it. Um, sales and marketing. Um, this is for those webcasts and webinars. Let's say you know you got a really basic setup with like one USB camera, a microphone, and that's like your main recording studio. And you know your salespeople walk in, they want to make a recording video about X, Y, or Z. Well, over here you've got your marketing professionals uh, who, who literally can just sit at their desk and control the entire, all the overlays and the lower thirds, or maybe a stinger effect. Uh, which we have a tip down here about a stinger effect. Why don't we do one? That is a stinger effect. Um, and, you know, that, that, that's one other uh, use case scenario. Uh, same kind of thing for the YouTube live shows, um, dual operators. So a lot of these YouTube live, um, you know, I would say many organizations, these YouTube live teams that are producing really high quality content, but are taking a long time in post-production to create it all, well, try micro-streaming. Try hitting it right live and then skipping the whole post-production step. Um, and one of the great ways to do that, see, I do all my own um, live streaming with these stinger effects and, like, here's a lower third, and I do all of that on the fly, and sometimes I'm not looking right at the camera because I'm looking at my computer. But um, if you have a secondary laptop that can handle that, just have someone sitting in the corner um, connected to your network, really simple stuff, now they can do all that for you and it look really professional. Finally, you know, we talked a little bit about this. It's all going to be revealed at NAB. This is where the new tech booth is. Uh, let's see if we can get a little better. I'll uh, get like a red for that. Here's the new tech booth here. Um, here's the vMix booth. And then here's PTZ Optics all the way over here. It's a little bit of a walk. Uh, you, I mean, but we're all in the same south hall. There's actually a ton of... Uh, you know, areas in NAB, and we're actually really close to these guys overall. Um, we've got a live webinar um, that you can join at any time, and uh, this is the live webinar here. You can go ahead and join at any time. It's going to be February 19th, so hopefully I didn't take up too much of everybody's time, um, but that is basically the plan, um, you know, of what we think the uh, NDI is going to mean for the industry. So hopefully this has been informative for everyone. Um, if you found this informative in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, take a look at some of our camera overviews or tips and tutorials, um, or maybe even download some of our free virtual sets. We do have a set of free virtual sets that you can play around with for TriCasters, for Wirecast, for vMix. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your day.